My grandmother's there, my grandfather, my cousins, they're... His family history is on display in a new museum in mm. Washington, D.C. The Museum of African American History and Culture opened this weekend, and our Banna man's family went to check it out, and they were surprised with what they saw. WCI 3's Anna Carrera is here with us now. And Anna, they saw a lot of familiar faces on the walls. Aaron, there are pictures of his family on the walls of the displays. Then one of those ended up on the front page of the Washington Post. It's been an exciting weekend for them and many others across the country. With smiling pictures lining the walls, this home is a museum of family history. She loves putting pictures up. Larry Parks lives here and says he knows the value of looking back to move forward. Everybody wants to know where they came from, and that is key to them. This isn't the only place you can see older branches of Larry's family tree. There's also a display featuring his heritage at the Museum of African American History and Culture. That includes dirt, yes, dirt, from his family's hometown. They were farmers in Indiana. They ended up owning the land there in Lyle Station, and uh, they farmed and, and just made it work for them. He says his grandparents, like many others at the time, did what they had to to survive. The times weren't always good for them, but they made it work, and they were happy, and they were very God-loving people, Christians, and that carried them through a lot of that. Our nation's first black president was there for the museum's dedication this weekend. We're not a burden on America or a stain on America or an object of pity or charity for America. We're America. Since then, people have stopped to see thousands of artifacts, all part of a story that hasn't been shared enough. There is a total history in this country that is kind of left out. And my children have brought that fact to me at school that they attend. Why is there no history there of us? And that's one of the important things that that museum represents to everybody. Many more people will see these displays now permanently part of American history. Larry says he's looking forward to making a trip to D.C. to see it all in person. Aaron? All right, it looks very cool.